Before we begin, I would just like to make mention that our hearts and prayers are with the people of China as they deal with these trying times, as the coronavirus sweeps the nation claiming thousands of victims. You are in our prayers. Number 10. Wang Zhangfeng and Wang Zhangwei Wang and Wang are two Chinese brothers and serial killers born in Shenyang, Liaoning. They are often called Er Wang or Two Wangs and were put into the Ministry of Public Security of China's Most Wanted list in 1983 after shooting dead five soldiers during a robbery of the People's Liberation Army Hospital during Chinese New Year. A week-long pursuit of the pair took authorities across the nation from February 12th to February 18th of 1983. That included them using guns and grenades to injure and kill the police officers and soldiers in pursuit. By the time of their shooting death on September 18, 1983, via the Armed Forces Encirclement Troop in Guangcheng, Zhangzi, they had amassed nine kills and nine injured, and caused a nationwide panic that resulted in a Chinese strike-hard campaign on crime. Number 9. Zhao Kahua Zhao Kahua is a lifelong criminal whose charges before his killing spree included molestation and arms trafficking, and led to him being sentenced to China's re-education through labor program. As a former mercenary soldier in Burma, he was extremely familiar with firearms, and upon his return to society in 2004, he immediately began an eight-year-long killing spree of terror, where he targeted ATM users, stealing millions of won and killing ten until his August 14, 2012 death by police, who shot him dead after a year-long manhunt. Number 8. Zhang Yongming, The Cannibal Killer Zhang Yongming, also known as the Cannibal Killer, targeted teenage males, killing 11 between March 2008 and April 2012. He would attack them along a road by his home and dismember their bodies, feeding some of their flesh to his dogs and selling other parts to his local market as ostrich meat. Residents near his home claimed he would hang plastic bags outside with what appeared to be bones protruding from them. He was executed on January 10, 2013, after Chinese authorities stormed his home which was full of human eyeballs preserved in bottles and drying human flesh. These crimes were all avoidable, as Zhang had been arrested in 1979 for intentional homicide, but was not only released after receiving sentence reductions in September of 1997, but also given land near his village of Nanmen. Number 7. Gao Chengyang Known in the media as the Chinese Jack the Ripper, Gao Chengyang murdered and raped his victims after following them home, sometimes from the grocery store he managed with his wife. All of his victims were dressed in red. After murdering his victims, he would remove their reproductive organs and cut the hands and breasts off at least one of his victims. He was sentenced to death and stripped of all his assets on March 30, 2018, and was executed by lethal injection on January 3rd. 2019. Number 6. Shen Cheng Yin and Shen Cheng Ping. These two brothers were responsible for the death of a man in their hometown in Nan Wu Henan and the murder of 11 sex workers, murders they plotted after they lost money due to their Lanzhou auto parts business failing. Assisting them in their murders were four female accomplices, including Li Chun Ling, who would lure the females back to the apartment she shared with the brothers so that they could kill them. The brothers would eat the livers of their victims and attempt to burn their bodies with sulfuric acid, which is exactly what they were doing when police stormed their Shi Ji Zhuang apartment, sentencing the brothers to death and their accomplices to between 3 to 20 years in prison each in September of 2005. Number 5. Bai Baoshan Bai Baoshan was a unique kind of serial killer attacking and targeting police stations as revenge for a previous 13-year sentence he had served for robbery and assault. In March of 1996, he attacked his first police station with a semi-automatic firearm he had previously stolen from a police officer. He raided another police station in the Habai province, killing another police officer. And then in Yurimqui, he killed a total of 10 more people, including more police officers. He had two accomplices for this most recent crime, one of which he shot dead in a dispute over the 1.5 million renminbi they had stolen during the act. Baoshan was found guilty on all counts of his 15 murders, and he was publicly executed on May 6, 1998 by shooting. 
Number four, Huang Yang. Huang Yang could be higher on this list. As though his confirmed kill count is 17, he is suspected of up to 25 murders, where he would lure young boys from video halls, arcades, and internet cafes, with the promise to recommend them for well-paying jobs or to fund their schooling or sightseeing tours, where he would then drug and rape them before strangling them with a rope. The accusation of him being responsible for 25 comes from Yang himself, who proclaimed to his only surviving victim, 16-year-old Zhang Liang, I killed at least 25 people. You're number 26. But Liang managed to escape and report Yang to the police. Yang's killing spree lasted over two years, from September of 2001 to November of 2003, and his punishment was swift and just. He was convicted on December 9, 2003, and executed by a firing squad on December 26, 2003. Number 3. Zhang Jun Zhang Jun was a robber and serial killer, having robbed a total of 22 stores between June 1993 and September of 2000, stealing 5.36 million yuan and killing 28 people while wounding 23 more. His victims included businessmen, one of his own associates, and two escorts he lured to a mountaintop to simply practice killing people quickly. On September 19th of 2000, Jun was arrested along with one of his mistresses, Quan Hongyang. He had a military hand grenade on him when he was apprehended. On April 14th, 2001, he was sentenced to death, and a month later, on May 20th, he was executed in Chongqing. Number 2. Wang Qiang There is surprisingly little information available on Wang Qiang, despite him being one of the most notorious murderers and rapists in Chinese history. He committed his first murder on January 22, 1995, and his 45-kill, 10-rape run lasted 8 years until his eventual arrest on July 14, 2003. He was from the small village of Kaiwan, Liaoneng City, and his alcoholic, gambling-addicted father never allowed him to enter school. Wang was sentenced to death and executed in November of 2005. Number 1. Yang Xinhai, the monster killer. In 1985, at age 17, Yang Xinhai dropped out of high school and refused to return home, opting to travel around China as a laborer. After serving prison time for theft in 1988 and 1991, he would return to prison in 1996 for attempted rape in Zumadi and Henan, and released in 1999, where he would enter into a relationship with a young woman, who would eventually leave him upon finding out about his rape conviction. Hurt by the breakup, Yang decided to get revenge on society by going on a 67 murder, 23 rape killing spree that lasted from 1999 to 2003 and saw him contract HIV from one of his victims. Xinhai would enter victims' homes at night and kill every occupant, often entire families, with axes, hammers, and shovels. He was detained on November 3, 2003, after acting suspiciously during a routine police inspection of entertainment venues in Kangzhou, Hebei, and taken in for questioning where it was discovered he was wanted for murder in four provinces. He was found guilty of 67 murders and 23 rapes on February 1, 2004, and executed two weeks later on February 14 by firing squad. He later claimed his enjoyment of robbery, rape, and murder provided further motive for his crimes, stating, When I killed people, I had a desire. This inspired me to kill more. I don't care whether they deserve to live or not. It is none of my concern. I have no desire to be part of society. Society is not my concern. China's Top Serial Killers is the first video in a new series where I will be going over the top killers from every single country. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.